Hi, I'm Hilary and welcome to Adept English Rule 4. Now, you've listened already to Rules 1, 2 and 3 of Adept English. You might like to watch the video first time through, but then perhaps download the MP3 file to your mobile phone or your tablet. Then you can do your repeat listening while you're doing other things. So just to recap, Adept English Rule 1 said that the most important part of language learning is listening. Rule 2 said that you must repeat that listening. Listen a number of times to the same recording and ensure that you understand what you're listening to. You need to hear the new words around 30 times before you remember them. And Rule 3 gave you a technique for making sure that you keep doing it. So do your listening when you're doing other things. So do your English language learning at the same time as doing your sport, your travelling, your chores. And it means you'll continue learning a little bit of English every day, every week. Now today we come on to Rule 4. What is difficult about language learning? What is it that means that people stop trying? Well, sometimes it's difficult to make the jump between being able to speak and understand English in the classroom and understanding and speaking real English with real English speakers. Sometimes we feel silly because it's not easy. We feel embarrassed and disappointed. Our language skills are not what we hope. So perhaps we stop trying. One of the things that holds people back in their learning, and this is any kind of learning, can be what we call self-criticism. If you don't know that word, self-criticism probably works better if I show you. You'll probably recognise it. Self-criticism sounds like this. Oh, I'm just bad at languages. I'm really slow at learning. My accent is terrible. My understanding is really bad. I can't follow what people are saying. I'm just really, really awful at English. I can't do it. I'll never learn. That's self-criticism. Talking to ourselves like this doesn't help. Most of us speak like this to ourselves sometimes. And for some people, it's like that all the time. My main job is as a psychotherapist and I work with lots of people who do self-criticism all the time. Self-criticism affects your confidence, it stops you from being successful. So my normal job is to help people with their self-confidence and it makes a massive difference if you can work on this. Being self-critical being negative about your learning doesn't make learning easier. In fact, whatever you're learning, it will make it much more difficult. And it may mean that you feel sad, disappointed in your progress, and you stop. And I think that that is particularly difficult when it comes to speaking a foreign language. Speaking, how we talk, is such a big part of who we are. We feel embarrassed, we feel uncomfortable perhaps when we try to speak a foreign language. We say to ourselves, what will people think if I make mistakes? It's even more difficult when we don't really understand what the other person is saying. Either they speak too quickly or they use words that we haven't let yet learned. So our confidence level goes down. It can mean we don't want to try to speak the foreign language. We lose confidence and so we don't practice. Adept English takes the pressure off your learning. It means that you can work on your understanding on your own. You can do it privately. Nobody, nobody needs to see or hear you practicing your English. You can increase your confidence, increase your level of skill and knowledge in English 
without feeling embarrassed. For some people, it's best not to try to speak English at all for a bit. Perhaps apart from doing the pronunciation recordings on the courses, build your confidence first. If you're just listening, what is there to criticise? This way, you can work on your language skills without even speaking, without self-criticism. You don't even have to tell anyone that you're doing it if you don't want to. When we're learning a new skill, self-criticism can make it really difficult to make progress. It puts us off. When we start to learn a new skill, we usually go through four stages. So if you're learning English, these four stages might sound a bit like this. Stage one, we start off not knowing how difficult it's going to be. We think, I know, I'll learn English. What a good idea. Other people can speak English. Can't be that difficult. I'll be speaking English in no time. It's almost as though we understand so little about the skill that we're trying to learn that we don't know how difficult it's going to be. We don't know what the problems are. We may think it's going to be easy. So then we come to stage two. We do a little bit and we start to realise just how difficult it is. We start to learn the skill, whatever it is. Although it looks easy when other people are doing it, we start to realise just how difficult it is. And it seems to be taking a long time. Will I ever get better? Will I ever learn English? At this point, it can seem impossible. And it's even more difficult if you're using traditional learning techniques. It's really hard to improve then. Lots of people stop at this point. The self-criticism wins and they stop learning. But if you carry on, you get to stage three and you begin to improve. But we don't realise this at first. It happens bit by bit, very gradually. It could be learning to ride a bike or learning to swim, but we're talking about learning a language and that is certainly bit by bit. Perhaps our confidence took us such a knock in stage two, we just don't realise we're improving. So in truth, we're getting better in stage three, but we don't always see that. Eventually, we get to stage four. Gradually, we realise there's improvement. Maybe we've started to speak English and it's starting to work. Our efforts are paying off and we know that we can do it we can see the evidence of improvement. We can see that we're better. It might be that you suddenly realise, ah, I can understand more English. Oh, and I can say a bit more too. So those four stages are really important and we all go through them, whatever the skill is that we're learning. But stages two and three can be really hard if you do a lot of self-criticism. People give up. People say, oh, I'm awful at it. Well, you can't be good at something straight away. And Adept English helps you through these stages until you can start to feel more like you're in stage four. It means that you can work on your level of English for a time without needing to speak, without self-criticism. It's important that you practice speaking later on but it's much easier if your understanding is already good. And the time that you've spent listening to English language will mean that when you do start to speak, the words will come more automatically. So rule four says, stop being self-critical. Don't say to yourself, I'm awful, I'm terrible at, at English. Instead, talk to yourself about what you can do how much you've already improved. Say to yourself, I'm better than I was last month. Don't worry that you can't speak English like I can. I've been doing it all my life. It's my own language and I can't speak your language. 
so that's okay. If you keep following these seven rules, you will succeed. You will understand and speak English. If you find the seven rules difficult, print out the PDF files and read them through. Use a dictionary if you need to. It doesn't matter how long the seven rules takes you. It may not be seven days. It could take you 14 days or 21 days or three months. Take your time and at the end of it, if you continue, if you stick at it, your English will be better. So Adept English Rule 4 says, be kind to yourself. Give yourself a break from self-criticism while you learn by listening. Allow yourself to learn bit by bit, gradually. That's normal and it's okay to find it difficult. We all go through the same stages when we're learning a language. For more information on the powerful techniques which Adept English uses, listen tomorrow to Rule 5. But don't forget to listen to Rule 4 a number of times first. Tomorrow, Rule 5 will talk about how important it is to learn through context. See you tomorrow for Rule 5.